Joining me now on the Daily Ledger, page 5B from Southern California, president of Wilsey Asset Management, Brent Wilsey. Brent, uh, gross domestic product uh, has been revised down. What was it in the uh, third quarter? Mm -hmm. uh, down 0.1%. So it's still a pretty <laughs> robust 3.4%. Now, normally, this would be no big deal. But it seems like the markets are looking for anything, any reason to, to have a sell-off. Uh, that's right, Graham. And, and again, point, uh, we're at what, 3.4%. That's still very good growth uh, above the estimate. I think the estimate is like 2% is what they right. estimate with the economists. So they're doing very well. And they say, oh, it's from an inventory build. I think it was like uh, $90 billion was the, the inventory build. Uh, and I think we're going to see that be used up because we already got some reports on holiday season. Um, holiday sales on online sales were record 100 and I think it was 11 billion, up 18% over over last year. So I think that's going to do well. So we're going to use a lot of that inventory, and I think we'll still have an inventory replacement in the first quarter. So I think GDP will still do pretty well. All right, I want to get too far in the weeds because this is not an investment show, uh, and I don't want it to be. But how much of the sell-off going on right now is just driven by the typical fear and greed on Wall Street, and how much is is program selling that happens at the end of the year? Uh, well, Graham, I did, I did a study that about 73% in volatile markets comes from frequently high, uh, high trading uh, high trading frequency guys that, that do the computer trading and so forth. Right. And uh, that's where it's coming from. And there are people, you know, cashing the mutual funds because they're they're fearful and so forth. There's no reason to be fearful. I mean, I saw a report that December, this is the worst December since 1931. Remember 1931, we had the Depression, right. you know, the World War. I mean, all this was going on. Why in the world this is happening now? It's just a crazy thing to, to happen. And also, too, Graham, it's about $41, $42 billion uh, is coming out. We got to remember our markets, the equity markets, are over thirty trill trillion dollars. So I think people getting panicked for no reason. You're not going to do very well by panicking in this market. They're also panicking over interest rates, and we have the president of the Federal Reserve of New York coming out mm -hmm. and saying, "Hey, you know what? Uh, you know the Federal Reserve does not live in an isolated bubble here. That they're actually going to consider certain machinations of the markets, right. certain machinations of the economy." They're going to reassess things when they look at future hikes. Is, is the Fed, in your mind, killing uh, the rally that's been the boom, the bull market that's been going on for a few years now on Wall Street? i, I got to say, it, it definitely didn't help. And, and I think, unfortunately, I, I have a lot of respect for President Trump and so forth, but I, I think he shouldn't have said what he said because it put the Federal Reserve Chairman in a box to where he couldn't not raise rates. He had to. But he, he shouldn't have because the data didn't justify it. So what we've had, Graham, we've had a, a scare of the economy slowing down. So it's naturally happening. I don't think we'll see any increases, maybe one in 2019. But now they will be looking at the data. The data will prove that, no, we don't have to increase interest rates. And I do get the idea of, oh, my gosh, we've got to be careful on in inflation. But the one thing we do have, Graham, that's positive Falling oil prices really account for a lot of inflation. Yep. So we're not going to have inflation. We're not having a runaway economy. We've got a good, decent economy. I think the Fed did make a mistake, but I think they've learned from their mistake. All right, I only got about 15 seconds left, Brent. Uh, investing is not a zero-sum game. In other words, the money has to go somewhere, and the money's been pouring out of the markets right now mm -hmm. uh, for this institutional selling that you talk about. Where is the money going? Uh, Graham, it's probably just going to the money markets. And uh, the, the sad part is, we talked about this months ago, is that a lot of these high flyers account for a lot of the index. They've been coming down, so therefore the indexes are a lot lower. But the money, unfortunately, going to a 1% to 2% money market, and they won't come back at the right time, unfortunately. They're going to miss the, re the run-up when it returns. I think six months from now, we're going to look back at this. History will prove that this was maybe one of the buying opportunities of our lifetime. I, I agree 100%. Brent, thanks. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.